Upanishad quotes, there is no joy in the finite. There is joy only in the infinite. <laughs> that is the truth that the finite creates a system for you. And it is very easy when you drive in the traffic police, there is a red and the green light. And it's better to follow it. But sometimes when it comes to the education level, when it comes to your freedom of your speech, freedom of understanding the world, you sometimes want to cross the limits called in Indian language the Lakshman Rekha. And I feel you should cross the Lakshman Rekha and everybody loves to cross the Lakshman Rekha. There is no joy in the finite, yes, because when you are stopped, when you are creative, when you are stopped, when you are fearless, then the whole joy is gone because you go mad and in that suppression of your madness you become sick and that contributes to the wealth of the pharmaceuticals and to the hospitals and to the poverty of the land because you are not been able to roar like a thousand man warrior. There is, Upanishad said, there is no joy in the finite. There is joy only in the infinite. I mean, infinite is limitless. It is endless. Yes. It's no size. It's impossible to measure. Yes. You can go on and go on. It is just like the, the physical exercise when you keep doing you reach a stage where you think you cannot take it of anything forward. That is the time there is somebody to push you. You go to a class where there are 50 or 100 or 200 people practicing. You might think it is mass hypnotism, but those you need those people's support to push it. When you push it, it never stops. Even after your class, you intend to keep doing your things. You can feel there was energy, limitless energy. To have the limitless energy, you have to move the crowd. There is no joy in the finite. Of course, there is no joy in the family with the family, with the rules and regulations. But to have the infinite, you have to first find out before you could break the finite, you got that beautiful security. How to break on that Infinite, that oh, condensed area. You have to have to understand yourself, the love, and you have to bloom with the love, and you have to take love and give love to your family. You have to melt with your joint family without any preconditions. You have to understand that you have the family, the joint family and the family with you because you love them. Once you love them and you are melted with them, nobody in the world can stop you. They will only love you because whatever they say is gospel of truth. You do not respond back. They, Whatever their criticisms, you feel it is a clap for me to take it a little more forward. Yes. They are ch challenging me to find out whether I am I'm frightened or not. There is joy only in the finite. There is no joy in the finite. There is joy only in the infinite. So just go express. You will not be able to express because you have a chanchala in your mind. Your mind is just wavering when you are looking into your subject in your class. You are not melting with your teacher. You are not melting, melting with the subject. Only you and the subject is there nothing else. When only you and the subject, the positive and negative creates electricity, beautiful, deeper, beautiful answer, a never-ending answer. It is infinite answer. Yes. It is impossible to measure that answer. You have varieties of answers. When you go to a factory or your company, you are in your finite because you want to 
follow the rules the moment you follow the rules you think that they are trying to grab you they are trying to take your talents and they're torturing you the moment you go to the fam fam to the factory to work you can see wow if you has made this factory i too can make it so i can wipe out some more tears in that wiping out some more tears and seeing the family with the smiling faces you become very very strong the more you give the more it comes back and then you can see the family the joint family and the family tree stand strong no fear one call you get a huge amount of works done that is the time you are free to see the truth feel smell taste touch and see the truth and in that truth yes is all that creativity you understand yes and then there is no complaint and there is no need to explain upanishads said there is no coat in the fin there is no joy in the finite there is joy only in the infinite 